Sam was our first child. We were always very careful to do everything by the book. So Sam had all his vaccinations. We would uh, had seen the health visitor uh, regularly and um, everything was fine. Sam was a large baby, very active. He was great at smiling. We'd always uh, get him to smile. In fact, early for, for a baby, we'd say super smiley Sam and he would smile. Sammy, yeah. We're going to read you a story, yeah? Who would you like to read your story? Would you like Mummy? Christopher. Mummy or? Christopher. <laughs> you. <laughs> Shall I read you the story, Sam? <laughs> I'll get him a story. Go on then. Go on then. Sam became ill when he was nine months old. He had uh, childhood coughs, sneezes. I uh, took him to the GP, uh, nothing was particularly diagnosed wrong there. A couple of days later though, uh, one night, Sam was making some very strange noises and not really responding. Um, we took him to the hospital and they uh, admitted him to intensive care and over the, a, couple, a period of 24 hours they diagnosed pneumococcal meningitis. And initially, um, the uh, medications were given and uh, we were very hopeful, but within the first week when a brain scan was done, uh, we received the news that Sam had severe brain damage as a result of the pneumococcal meningitis. Once when I was little, my mum read me a story <laughs> about a frog that drank and drank and drank Sam is 11 now and he uh, attends Bardwell School in Vista and he really enjoys doing that. But he needs everything done for him. He's uh, not able to feed himself or move purposefully. So he's fed via gastrostomy, so all his feed goes directly into his tummy. He's incontinent, so he needs to wear nappies all the time. And uh, anything, even getting dressed or any movement at all, he needs everything done for him. See if we can give it to you and Sam at the same time. Look, you've got the beautiful blue, blue sky, sky above us. Are you ready? You feel that? The water below. The School are really doing good work trying to help him to respond to regular stimulus or to, to speech. He responds to certain things by groaning or turning his head. Um, but there's very little other movement. And when you catch him almost responding to something, it's really great just to know that he is at least able to respond in his own way to those types of stimulations. That's what I'm Having no, Sam like he is impacts that. almost every part of our lives. How we live, how you get up in the morning, whether it's caring for Sam yourself or letting carers in. Um, having to get up in the night, whether it's just to comfort him or change his nappy or whatever, it affects your sleep. It affects what the brother and sister do. They're seven and nine now, and we really value the times when Sam is there, but also there's times when, for the sake of the other children, we have to do things without Sam. And so, again, there's a tension between doing things and including Sam, but also doing things for the children where you know feeling slightly guilty, Sam has to either go to a hosp to hospice or to respite care. It has had a real impact on how we work, exactly. is another big issue. We were both in quite high-powered jobs, and um, there was a world of spinning plates of trying to cope with a job that involved a certain amount of overseas travel, and you know leaving the other to look after Sam uh, did become unsustainable in the end um, and for various reasons we're now able to do work that is more flexible so we're both working part-time um, but are doing uh, jobs that are not quite of the level where we were that uh, uh, we had before and that's something that we've chosen to be able to spend more time caring and be flexible so almost every part of life is different When 
Sam was young, the pneumococcal meningitis vaccine wasn't regularly given to children at that stage. Sam's uh, situation was part of the evidence that was gathered to justify the pneumococcal meningitis vaccination for all children. And the, the fact that he was part of that research and was just part of that evidence gave us uh, a certain comfort that actually what Sam had gone through was going to be worthwhile and something that would help children in the future not to go through what Sam had gone through.